Hey man, real estate say shit. You already know what the fuck going on. We posted. I'm with my nigga fucking Kenny right here. About to make a guest appearance and shit. But today we gotta talk about this current situation with this nigga Travis Scott. Now we got a crazy update with this. But basically the Kardashians, they're dropping a show. They were supposed to drop a show like with him featured in it. But they're dropping a new show on fucking uh, Hulu. And basically they are effectively canceling this nigga out of the show they had clips with him and kylie in it and then they basically on the low snake this nigga fucking edit him out out of the whole fucking show after the astral world incident and shit bro that shit crazy right yeah crazy as fuck that shit is like they just backdoored the homie not even gonna lie because it's like they were there like they were supporting it the Kardashians were posted at the fucking show. They were posting, like, Kylie Jenner was posting her story, and then they straight up had her, like, posting the ambulance where niggas were dying and shit in the ambulance, like, on some war game shit. Like, that's, like, crazy. And then they, like, had pictures that they posted on on their Instagrams, basically, like, at Astroworld and shit, and they removed that shit. So it's, like... They really just don't even give a fuck. They're like, yo, cut all losses. They with you until they're not with you, you know? Yeah, I feel like fucking like Chris Jenner, yo, she doesn't play when it comes to her money, bro. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, up her money, like you gotta, she's like, you're out of the picture. Yeah. Yo, she's like really like a mob boss out here maneuvering and shit, cutting niggas off, like it's down bad and it's just interesting to see. I mean like Fortnite already got this nigga off. They fucking, now it's the Kardashians and shit. Not that he really even wanted to, but it's like, yo, they don't even give a fuck about niggas, bro. He's about to lose mad bread, so. Yeah. He's probably about to lose a lot of bread. I mean, they basically announced, too, that the um, the Asteroid Festival was insured for up to $100 million in damage. Or no, it was only insured up to $20 million in damage. And it's looking like that shit's gonna be $100 million. And he's not even gonna get this white girl endorsement check from the Kardashians. So it's like, this nigga gonna be down bad. He's gonna have to be touring and shit. Yeah, man. No cab. He's gonna have to be with the shits. But it's like, I don't know, bro. Like, it's definitely fucked up. And I wonder, like, it's partly his fault. I'm not gonna lie. Because his name is on the shit. But it's like, it just sucks that his name is on the shit. That, like, everybody has to fucking, like, he's really taking the blame for it. Like, no one's really looking at everyone else that was involved with it. That shit. But you were, what were you gonna say? No, I said that's true, man. Yeah. He's the face of it, so. Just yeah. Him this but it's like, you would think that the Kardashians and shit, like, in doing so, would, like, fucking at least look out for him. Because that's, like, the father of their fucking, like, grand, like, Chris's granddaughter's dad and Kylie's baby father, you know? <laughs> they were there like they it's different if they were like not even associated but they i bet you they were posting that to go probably telling their followers to go they were posting themselves there so that's already like an endorsement and shit yo there was one video of kendall walking out and shit and she looked geeked out like her eyes were like this big looking like she's rolling off one but it's like bruh they will really like get you and it just shows a lot of these fans like i see people saying like don't stream travis scott turn him off my granted it's mostly white girls and yeah, shit. Yeah. like i feel like the black people are all like it's not this nigga's fault but it's like i don't know i feel like this nigga has to go out and like say something or some shit but it's like he didn't know that people were dying and there was new evidence that like basically came out that showed the police they were filming his performance 20 minutes after the fact that they didn't, even they didn't even know 20 minutes after it was announced it was a mass casualty events there were still cops filming the performance so if they didn't know he didn't know who the fuck is supposed to know you know yeah. like you would think that like somebody would if he obviously didn't even know and he went to Dave and Buster's had a party after party then he found out and immediately left and shit and it's just crazy, but it's like, it's interesting to see how they're wrapping everybody in this. Niggas who are drinking shit. Yo, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> everybody getting sued. I saw a nigga on fucking like Reddit saying, hey, we need to cancel everyone that is a part of this fucking lifestyle, including Kid Cudi. Who wow. wasn't even there? This nigga had nothing to do with it. And these niggas are like, yo. Niggas pushing their own agendas. Bro. Yo, I feel like it. I feel like a lot of it too is like an anti-black agenda. And I'm not even saying this on some conspiracy shit, but it's like 
for real, like, I don't know, like, niggas are just like, it's like, you're one of the good ones, and then if you have one mistake that isn't even directly caused by you, you're automatically one of the bad ones, you know? These niggas crazy with the shits when it comes to this shit, bro. So it's just like, I don't know. The Kardashian curse is real. These niggas will drop you on the side of the road and shit if they have to, bro. All means necessary. Man, I know Travis probably like, fuck these fucking like, people right now. Or some <laughs> shit. Or he doesn't even know. I feel like this nigga don't be knowing. Cause like, he's in Astro World. You think he's in Astro World? You think he's <laughs> in a different planet? Yeah. You think he even knows the gravity of the situation right now? Based upon that apology, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the apology was like a, like not even mid. That was like Reggie. That shit's a meme right now. Yo, that's terrible. Is that a good thing that the apology's a meme? Oh man, not for him. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but this thing is about to get sued till he's bankrupt. So we'll see what the fuck is going on. But hey, man, real estate say shit. You already know what the fuck going on. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, follow my homie right here. Yeah. Kenny for the trenches. We about to drop some new shit on the channel. You already know. Peace.